Right, welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. The erosion uh, of modern cinema, uh, classics, everything, has just reached peak. Um, uh, words can't actually put it into in, into description. I'm I'm really baffled by this, um, and, I, and I'm sure you are too. And and this is I think this is the most egregious example. So Sky Cinema has gone on uh, an absolute tirade of uh, warnings, basically, because apparently we all need warnings. We all need molly coddling. We all need our hands held um, because that that's 2020, isn't it? That's the year 2020 that we live in. Aliens has now got a warning, and this is legit. This is completely legitimate. The warning is, this film has outdated attitudes, language, and cultural depictions, which may cause offence today. Sci-fi sequel starring Sigourney Weaver contains violence. Right. I mean... <laughs> I, I just... I, I actually cannot believe this has happened now, and and there's a there's a whole lo lot of other examples which I'm going to get to, but I really want to get to the core of how Aliens is is just so egregious. It, it this is like, and it's not even the fact that I love Alien, right? Like obviously, you know, most people on this channel love the Alien franchise, but it it's got one of the best, strongest female characters. Like ever in in the history of film, right? Sigourney Weaver's Ripley goes from such a fantastic character arc in Alien to Aliens, and throughout the whole series of events and the whole series of the movies, to say that, like, uh, how 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 are we censoring? How are we censoring one of the all-time best uh, female characters in movie history? I just don't understand it. Not only that. How on earth does this have outdated attitudes? Like, what is outdated about it, you know? What is actually outdated? What, a bunch of marines clap-trapping with one another? W what? W what is outdated here? Cultural depictions? The, the culture of a xenomorph? Like, what, what fresh fuckery is this? Like, I just don't understand it. And what could possibly cause offence? I, I simply, I don't understand it. You had Vasquez, Vas, I'm probably saying that wrong, Vasquez, Vasquez, in this, absolutely badass, strong female character, epic, really cool. Maybe it's the back and forth she does, you know? Maybe it's the back and forth she does. I, I, I don't know, like, what could possibly be cause and offence? But yes, absolutely, we need to complete, you know, completely just go down this path. And and again, this is really, like, I find it offensive that we're getting warnings that films may be offensive now. It's just, it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. And this isn't it. There's more. So Aladdin. Aladdin. From last year. The film has outdated attitudes, language, and cultural depictions, which may cause offence today. Reimagining of the Disney animation with Will Smith. Are we at this point where everyone needs a trigger warning? Is this what it is? Is is this what the world's come to? How how on earth is a Disney Aladdin movie like it's the most milk toast piece of shit there is? There's more. Flash Gordon! Flash Gordon! Flashy, flashy Gordon. Ah! Saviour of the universe! This film has outdated attitudes, language, and cultural depictions. It's not it. There's more. Breakfast at Tiffany's. This film has outdated attitudes, language, and cultural depictions. And then it goes... And then it goes on to praise it by saying it's an iconic romance. There's more! Tropic Thunder. I always wondered when they would come for Tropic Thunder. Because, of course, that's like... You, you couldn't do that in today's day and age. And out of all this BLM stuff which is happening, I'm really, really surprised they haven't come for Robert Downey Jr. when he did Blackface. 
for like an entire movie. When are they going to come for him? And I, I can't wait for his... Do you reckon he virtue signal in his response? Or do you reckon he'd just go, shut the fuck up, it's humour. It's a comedy, mate. Shut up. Because he doesn't, he doesn't tend to take any shit. Uh, I'd love to see... Oh, I can't wait. Please come for Robert Downey Jr. I'd love to see his response. The Goonies! The film has outdated attitudes, language and cultural depictions which may cause offence today. Comedy adventure with Josh Brolin. And then we're back to Aliens. I, I, I simply don't understand what's happening. And apparently, neither does anyone else. Because I was tagged in this on uh, Twitter. And, 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 I, and I was like, right, okay. And it, follow me over on Twitter. I know it's a toxic place. But hey, if we get some more normal people over there, maybe it won't be such a shit show. Um, and this was, this was the thread, right? So I'm going to shift this over here so we can all have a good old look here. Get my big dumb face out of the way. Um, and this was the thread. Because it, it was literally just thing after thing after thing. Uh, uh, and it started off with fuck off 2020. Which I completely, wholeheartedly endorse that statement. Lisa, God bless Toto. You need more followers when this is the stuff you post. This is incredible. And I just, I just cannot understand it. Look at it. Wait. Hold up. Hang on. It's got strong female lead anti-war themes, anti-corporate themes, pro-trans themes, things that look like big black dildos on legs. So what's the problem here? Pretty much. What's the issue? Massively strong female lead, pro-trans. Like, what is the, what, I mean, well, pro-trans, probably not. But do you know what, what oh no, Arcturians. It doesn't matter when it's Arcturians. Yeah, I guess it is kind of pro-trans. Um, what's the issue? How can it have outdated attitudes when it's set in the future? Hilarious, but poignant comment. What the fucking, what part of the film is offensive? Exactly. An offensive to who? It's a cult classic. They've even given it, how, what have they given it on here? Five stars. So Sky give it a five star rating themselves, yet they believe it's offensive. Do you want to, do you want to highlight the hypocrisy there? Like, what's going on? Um, and then it gets better. I think it's because of that bit where Hudson says they should put the little girl in charge, and then they don't. This is just a meme. 2020 is a meme that I, I don't want to be on this ride anymore. I'm so sick of society. We need more people to absolutely... Write, like, we need people to email Sky and just say how ridiculous this is. I don't care, it's the best film ever made, ever, and Sigourney Weaver is the sexiest woman ever, so there. It's funny. Um, the film was released last year. What fresh bullshit is this? Completely agree. This film has a female leading character who is tough, strong, intelligent, three-dimensional, has masses of depth, an interesting personality, and a compelling character arc. But a marine said a lady marine looks like a bloke, and she said he's like a bird, so nah. Is, yeah, I mean, what are we doing? Why are we picking apart a movie which is very clearly absolutely fantastic, you know, and fantastic from multiple levels by multiple ways? I just simply, what is going on? I've always tried hard to avoid becoming one of those boring old farts who always bangs on about how it was better back in my day. But the present state of affairs truly is a shit show in comparison to the 80s and the 90s. Yeah, I wholeheartedly agree. Project Acheron, friend of the channel, uh, friend of the channel. Oh, it must be the strong female character shitting on Burke, a selfish lot-driven white male. <laughs> or could it be the mixed gender and race military that 2020 has problems with? Exactly. Like, what's the problem here? It's xenophobic. Great comment. 2020 in one gif. Yeah, just blow up the planet. Like, if if we have to give trigger warnings to movies where they're clearly absolutely fantastic. And clearly, there's literally no issue that there's nothing offensive about it. Yeah, just just bomb the world, just blow up the whole world. Everyone's at, at, like, I I can't I possibly put it into words. If this is the future, there is no future. Kill everyone. This is completely pointless. Like 2020 just needs to fuck off and die. Movies are an art form, and all art is a product of its time. Being offended by and censoring classic movies because of outdated attitudes is beyond idiotic. As if the same standard won't someday be applied to the movies being made today. Exactly. This truly is the worst generation. Yes. Massively agree. This entire thing is a total joke. Honestly. And, and like, what? 
What's the issue? Unreal. Anyway, saw this. Couldn't not talk about it. I'm sorry videos were basically not around yesterday. Um, massive apologies for that. Expect a good few today. Again, I released one video yesterday which was thanking everyone uh, for hitting the target to my film. I'll leave it linked above. Thank you all so much for that. Again, it just it means the world to me. Um, and I, I, I promise to bring you lots and lots of content today. Thank you all so much. Let me know your thoughts down below. As always, I've been Mr. H. Take care.